All right, Zayna, how you like the bookcase I built you? <laughs> it looks drunk. Check it out now. Got to lean with it to understand it. Sinbad has kept audiences laughing for the past three decades. He's known for hit movies and shows like Jungle All the Way, House Guest, and of course, The Sinbad Show. Now he's brought his stand up comedy act to Chicago with a performance for the lovers only and Valentine's Day at the Chicago Theater. So joining us this morning is Sinbad, along with our friend, music and entertainment <laughs> expert, front row Phyllis. Hello, Good morning Phyllis. to you. She's the football seat. Hey, Joe, hey, how, how are you doing? How now? are you, Sinbad? <laughs> now, you know that was Ray J, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was Ray J, the little Ray kid? J. That's Ray J. Mm, see, you had him at an innocent yeah, video. Yeah, We've man, all seen yeah, the no, other I know. video. You got, growing up, like we said, <laughs> we just talking earlier. Really, growing up, it's Jeez. all the bumps and, and, and obstacles you run into and things that change, man. You grew up in front of everybody's eyes because you were in your early 20s when you first, well, when you yeah. got out of the military. Yeah, I kicked out the military. And you realized yeah. that, yeah. hey, this ain't for me. Tell everybody about it. You were stationed as a, a boom, operator boom operator in, in Kansas. In Kansas, I refueled airplanes in the air. That's what boom operator is. Yeah, but it was Air Force talent show. Yeah. It was an Air Force talent show, and I, and I saw this guy doing comedy, t and uh, T.A. Burroughs, and I said, that's it. And he's my friend. I said, that's it. I just, I had an epiphany. Everybody said you had that right, one right. woman. Yeah, it, yeah. I, I, I ran out the theater, and my friend said, man, you funny. You ain't that funny. <laughs> and the next year, I, I tried out, and I won. I, I set a record, and I said, I got to get out. I mean, after that, you even left the military. They you kicked just me said, out. Well, they, yeah, they kicked thing. me out. Which they let me go. They, they, they let a brother right. go. Now I got general on an honorable condition. Exactly. Which means you wasn't that bad, but you wasn't good. Okay, so get out yeah, of here. Get out. That is amazing. How do you keep it going all these decades? I mean, because oh. you have the cleanest, show, one of the cleanest shows out there. Yeah. Yeah. No profanity. But you know, I look at it, but I never looked at it as, you no, know, I was dirty when I started. I never looked at it as clean. I always looked at it. It's always about being funny. And I always thought I was just as controversial as anybody else. When I look at guys who was dirty, other than the words, I didn't change anything else. I didn't change what I was doing. I just changed the language. And I said, I can, I thought being clean, I could push it even further. Right, right. I could take it to the wall. Exactly. I talk about the same subject, so it's, it's just the words. So now, you also have written a self-help book. Yeah. How did that come it about? It might get you in trouble. My self-help yeah. book. My, At least it's my, funny, though, huh? My self-help book, if you do it my way, you got to be bold. <laughs> my Zimbabwe's way, if you're going to do it my way, my way of handling everything is different. The bully situation, you don't go to school and talk about it. You beat that child up. You, you just get it over. Yeah, you beat the child up. That's how we. That's how they did it when we were growing up. Yeah, you throw the child. Different nowadays. Uh, right. Not you, me. Undercover with a hoodie. Just wear a hoodie. Just wear a hoodie. You, and let me ask you it. this about you. Uh, talk about something different. Marriage. Yeah. You got married. Yes. You got divorced, and you married her again. Yes. And not everybody can do that. But you know, yeah, no, but, but remember, it was, it was 11 years divorce. I don't think you jump right back in. Yeah. Because two or three years, you're still too much pain. And you still think exactly. about too much. Yeah. You still us because we went. We weren't. It wasn't the most amicable divorce, but we had our kids, and our kids were always number one. That was never a thing. I moved 15 minutes away, and I think the difference was when I got divorced. My boy said, "Man, get a crib by the beach." I said, "Dude, I'm I'm not a single man." It's hard to explain when you divorce with kids. You're not single. They need a new word. No right. Right. Because right. you're not single. You right. Know, yeah. You have responsibilities, and you got a house you're paying for. You can't live in. So <laughs> right. it's, exactly. it's it's a lot going on. I think men go into denial. I think men get divorced and they have kids. And they go into denial. They want to start all over again because the woman usually gets saddled with the kids. But for me, my kids were my running partners. Yeah, and you yeah. realize too that the dating game just wasn't oh, for you. Oh, dating, no. I was, no, I was dating gonna, is tough. I was yeah. never getting married again. It was easy for me. I was never getting married again. I told women up front, this ain't but a temporary situation. It was a temp service. <laughs> temp service. I'm a temp <laughs> service. I need to. It's, it's a dating temp service. I'm not here for the long haul. Gee whiz, you've worked with some greats. You started on yes. the Star Search. You even appeared on the Bill Cosby Show. You yes. had a spinoff. The Sinbad yes. Show was a spinoff from that. What, what would you say to Bill Cosby right now in light of everything that's going on? Right Bill's still, my, still, Bill's still my cat. Bill, open for him. That's my. This guy that told me I don't know. Until I still even get some more stuff. Like, I don't want to put down rape and date rape. But you know what? I'm hearing stories, and one of the stories, he wasn't even there in that town. They found out some of the stuff is not meshing. Some of the, and everybody's piling on. Everybody's piling on. And it's easy to say it, and I'm still not saying it didn't happen, but something is not clicking for me. And this is the man I know. I still love this man. The advice he gave me, the life I led with him, the things I saw him do. I saw him put people through college. I mean, I've seen this guy do stuff. He even talk about it was him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm having a, you know, we have a hard time. Yeah. They're yeah. like saying, hey, man, you heard that uh, Jimmy killed somebody. Jimmy. Not Jimmy. Jimmy. Right. Yeah, Jimmy. Man, until I find a body, I'm not, I'm not accepting that. So right. I just, to me, he's still my cat. 
tickets, it makes me sad. It just tickets makes me sad. are still available for Sinbad Show over at the Chicago Theater. Yes. Now, this Saturday, we're talking about Valentine's Day prices range. They kick off at twenty nine fifty. Sinbad, what are you going to say to the lovers out there in the audience? Sometimes it ain't love. <laughs> 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 Sometimes it's a dinner. Sometimes it's, <laughs> it's a just dinner. a dinner. It's Sometimes it's just a dinner. I love you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you much now. for joining us. We appreciate it. I oh, would I shake your hand, but uh -oh. you know. She won't tell nobody what happened. She I've won't break down. Her for weeks she won't now. break down. We think the 50 Shades of Grey thing. <laughs> yeah. That's Phyllis. all I'm saying. <laughs>